Hey, hey, good morning. Hey, good morning. How's it going? So far, I'm good, thank you. So far, it's Sweeting. two wins. Oh, nice, nice, yep. Nice. Let, let me find you on Foxy. Hang on a second. So you're going strong still, huh? Five fuel, good. Uh, yep. Well, Monday I didn't do so well on IGS. Oh, drop I'm against not... the six fuel plus? Or what it was? <laughs> yeah, again. Mm -hmm. So... But on, on Thai Jam, I ranked up to 4Q. Oh, you're playing Thai Jam recently and... also. Nice. Yep, yep. Okay, I think I think so... I have the board up. So you're playing black. Mm -hmm. White yep. already overplayed a little bit. Yeah, but I was going to approach the upper left right. first. You, you should try the low approach to C5 instead of D5. It's oh, okay. D5 is wrong, but everybody does it, so it should be okay. And when I say everybody, I'm talking about AIs and top pros and top amateurs and all the other people copying them. And I was thinking of uh, maybe pushing for an avalanche. Yeah, you can try that. Here. To switch a little bit, huh? Yeah, not only that, but it kind of works with yeah. my upper right stones. He, oh, he tries to avoid the complicated variations. But on the right side, you so can I... center stone. So you can evade Q8 and... Uh, punish him. But right now, you still have to play in the top left. Yeah, just D6, yeah, right? Stay ahead. Probably he'll push. Mm, that's also possible. I thought he'll push two more times and then cramp F3. But that's a bit too advanced. Mm. So here? What just extend. Do? Yeah. No B to stay ahead. Mm -hmm. And? Oh, you could also <laughs> jump. But this is fine. Okay. Either way is good. It's okay to keep So extending again is good. We should play some Kama from time to time. Let's see your first instinct here. So now I feel like my upper left is fine, my upper right is fine. Yeah, it's good. Um we could we could probably we can approach the bottom at like F17, or or we can play Q8 right now. You can play Q8 the invasion. You can extend on the bottom all the way to F17 or just J17. You can also turn at C7. That's pretty big because after you turn once, okay. you can even invade C14. But I think you can just play J17 because if you go F17, he's not going to defend unless you extend J16. Okay. But from here, maybe you have a chance to go F17 too. And if you play something like F17, it's not a problem. You're sent there, then you can invade the right side. Hmm, he played that. Quite proper. So let's see, this guy, 100 wins, 50 lost. Oh, okay. So this is not a bad 5Q. Invade, punish that. He went a bit too far. Oh, what a response. Instantly. Maybe it's a misclick. <laughs> Uh, several ways here. Let's see the first moves you think about. Well, you have probably like um, no here. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking at Nobi to P14. That's one or, way. Or just the Hane at P15. I think it looks good here. Also, you have the clamp, Q16, and then if he goes up and down, or up or down, you take the other one. But this is nice because you set up a wall and you have the extension in place for the J17s. Right. <clears throat> and if he goes, for example, like that, you can play in two ways here. Uh, O14 is interesting. Uh, if you play O14, he will hane R14. So you can just play P14. And when he hane R14, you can block. But it's okay to play P16. Okay. But, okay, no, this is fine. He's not really alive. No. I have to play P16 now. You can play P18. <laughs> Let's see what happens. It's good to play P16 oh, okay, in okay. general, or also O18 is an option. But he's a little bit in trouble. Well, there is Aji here. We'll see how he is. Anyway, you could, you okay. could play a solid right away at Q16, and when he Hane, R14, you can double Hane, R13, then Atari, he takes a stone, you Atari, and you capture the corner. But it's, it's probably better like this, so he becomes strong. He's still weak on the right side. That Q10 is uh, rather thin. 
And maybe if you take Sente, you can Kosumi one way or the other. High resonance. So uh, you can go for the key here. How about Hane R15 and connect? And then you gotta find that push and cut. I guess he'll push and cut, but. <clears throat> Let's see. This is locally dead. And if he goes mm -hmm. P16 and he cuts or 17, you can tidy and crawl on the second line a couple of times. Or oh, let's try something else. How about when he plays P16, you jump, then he nob you, then you turn, then he turns, and then you Kema, and then he pushes you Hane, Atari, Atari. Ah, that's risky. Probably crawl and kill. But I don't like that touch. There, there is a ladder probably. Ah, okay. Now you can fix the Aji by playing N17. Oh. Okay. I'm not loud enough. Should I? Uh, should oh, I I'm sorry. No. <laughs> yeah, your your You're desktop fine. audio is maybe. It's my fault. Mm -hmm. It's my fault. <coughs> All right. Yeah. So now. Thanks for letting me know, Razumates. Oh, okay. I was whispering the moves. <laughs> <laughs> so here, you need to do something with J17. Because you're pretty strong in the lower right corner and he's dead. But J17 is weak and he can hunt on top. So you don't have to allow J16. Right. No. Yeah, simply go up. I'm in silent mode. Oh, okay. What he wants here? Push and cut. Which one, P? <laughs> um, Might as well O16. Several options here. But the thing is, if you O16, he Atari under, and then he can honey in the corner. Uh, let me see if you can go down Atari, Atari, connect. You can just play P16, and then when he Atari, we try to surround and kill all, but it's also tricky. J just play uh, O17. Empty, but effective. Oh, okay. It's ugly, but what can we do? Because even if you play O16, he will Atari N18, and then you still need this move. That can be a little problem, but you connect O15. Another empty. Okay. Ah, there was another way. There was N14 too. Hmm. He got some nice shape. But now simply get ahead again. Uh, probably J oh, okay. That creates some cutting points. No, you could not be. J15. Okay. But it, this is not too terrible. When he goes J15, you are tired and make some. Uh huh. Okay, uh, how about a shoulder hit, G16, to fix your shape? Gotcha, okay. He could play J15, but now it's too late. And then, let's see. No behind a jump. Jump again, J12. <clears throat> that exchange helped the cuts a little bit. Uh -huh. And now the honey will help even more. I mean, H15. Mm -hmm. And when he cuts, you just extend. You don't play any Atari. He might play G15 and then you just know nope. H14, so... Ah, okay. So he still wants to cut you somehow? Hmm. Ah, he can honey under now. So you pull back, I-15. Uh, if you don't play I-15, he will probably play it right away. Gotcha. Now you have a pretty strong formation, so it's easy to invade the left side. You can go C-14 or some of those uh, submarine approach like B-15 or B-16. Good. Now what? 
probably ignore completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's an option, actually. But let's see. Invading the left looks yeah, yeah. enticing. Yeah, Look, looks quite urgent. So, as you like. Either C14 or one of those moves, B16, uh, B15 or B16. I like B6, I was... B, no, B, boy 15, the key commander. Oh, okay. The thing is, if he covers C16 or C14, then you just leave in the corner and his wall, it's facing your H15 loop, which is pretty strong. So, it's good for you. Yeah, he needs to block the corner. And then you can just extend for a base, a C12. You don't even need to push in the corner right away. You can push B16 next. Usually it's the push and the clamp. Sometimes you don't play the clamp. You just push or you jump and then you push later. Because he's already strong. I think if you push B16 and you clamp B18, he will go down. So the clamp will not go into play in okay. this particular case. Gotcha. Uh, push one time, it's okay. B16. Now, attach C... C10 or slide. B10. I like the, the contact move here. It's okay. Okay. <clears throat> What next? Hmm. Kill something. I'm tempted by the crosscut, but I don't think it's that great. It's probably um, not great right away, so in this case, you should go D11, and if he blocks, you cut and you capture the stone. Okay. Oh, right, right, right. That's good shape. Ah, he lets you go out. Nice. Because now you separate here, yeah, and then when you turn, C7, he still has a, a problem with the three stones. So now maybe he plays Atari Hunter and then he connects somehow. But that Atari Hunter is not necessarily sent there. Eh? Uh -huh. Well, if you connect, D9 is okay and it can die later, no problem. If you connect, he will probably go back and protect. And if you don't, he captures in center. It's ugly, but you probably need to connect here. Okay. Deny it's okay for now. Okay, now it's fine. It's alive. So, uh, let's see. We need another move here. A proper shape. Like F12. So, he, if it starts moving from that stone, he can separate your groups. So when you Hane... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, D9 is a nice move, but it will die some sometimes in the future. Now you go for a big center. So you should start with a cap move at 11. <clears throat> Attack this group a little bit. Then we use the Ajo on the right side and cut R9 or R7. And then you close the center with a jump at, I mean, Kosumi E8 to build a, uh, okay. a little China in the middle. F12, it's ultra proper. Proper moves often seem slow. Okay, wait a second. Beep, punk, punk, punk. Um, yeah, let's peep once at M12. Well, if you don't play a move like F12, uh, White can jump, G12, and then you're a little bit on the run with both groups, he can cut that line. That's why I feel F12 is important. Uh, push once, M13. Okay. Then if you Hane, he plays here, you jump, he plays here. Now Hane, N11. <clears throat> Now we're, we're fighting on the right side and he runs on. Oh, okay, good. Cut. Now he has to leave somehow. Atari connect, it's fine. 
he will play uh, J18 and L18, or just L18. Nice, you know something. Mm. Go down, J18. Okay. So this can leave. And also play P19. Because he needs another move to leave with the group. Otherwise, M19 will kill him. And if you don't play P19, he will play P19 and leave in the corner. And then we have to use that move on the right side. Yeah, if he plays P19, connects Q19, then he goes S18 and that's life in the corner. Gotcha. R9 or R7? We don't know yet. <laughs> we have to check both variations. So, what does this do? Push and push and push. No, he's got it. I wonder if we can kill. Talk, talk. Oh, you can. No, we don't kill yet. So, play on the right side. R9 or R7. As you like. Okay. I'm fine with either move. R9 as the audience is asking. R7. <clears throat> you gotta please the crowd, huh? Yep, oh no, absolutely. you should connect, yep. you should connect. Ah, uh, you should connect and then connect under. So that's a, a bit painful. Now R6. Yeah, usually you connect Q7 and then you link and then you got an eye and when he plays that eye you don't care. Like this, he can still gotcha. try a few more moves. But when he plays R R8, you can bump Q5. Anyway, this group is kind of floating, so it's okay. I'm checking the Tsumego here. Probably, you can start from L16. Ah, but you just killed three stones. Hmm, he doesn't want that. So, pom, 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 pom. K13. How about that? <clears throat> oh, okay. Count counter Suji and connect. <clears throat> so now he's finally alive. No, no, he's actually still in trouble, but uh connect first, K K eleven. You you can threaten to kill three stones, then you play uh L sixteen, and then you play M nineteen and kill. But when you play N15, he will leave and give you three stones, which are not so big right now. But it's good to have that end game for another eight points there. Oh, now it's time to play it. So start from. Oh, wait a second. If you play that, he goes out of tire tire. Oh no, let's play in a different way. Uh, go out of P11 first. Okay. Then wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. Then, yeah, you can go N15 now. Or you can connect P12. Yeah, in fact, connect first. Connect P12 and then play N15. All right, now N15. Because if you lose the liberties on the right side, then you have to play inside and kill the corner, which is a small semidori. But okay, you don't have to play too many moves. Okay, but don't capture the three stones right away. <clears throat> now just connect R8. Connect the call. After that, you have Nosti Suji 08 or the clamp. He saw the life at L16. That was too easy. Huh? You still have a nice vital point here N8. Destroy the eye shape. Now you use your potential to attack. Okay. Severe. This is just insurance in the middle. When you cut M14, you connect everything, so you're fine. And you build another eight, nine points. But right now, to cut for nine points is not so big. But to attack that group looks quite appealing. This is a key point, because it destroys the eye shape and you're aiming to cut at P9 next. Okay. Oh, like that. 
So let's see, KMA or push? KMA, Michael Six. Now we treat that stone uh, lightly because he was a Kikashi and he played a terrible shape to connect. So you KMA, he will push, cut, you play Atari from the outside and you close a giant center like Takemiya or Smix type. Gotcha. And then you play uh, E8 and you seal the deal. This guy survived in most of the places. Top left, lower left, middle. But okay, he died in that lower right corner. And now when you close the center at E8, you win by less than 200 today, but still big. We should try to, to play and win some games here without killing anything. That would be extremely challenging. Killing seems easy, but trying just to build and let them live small, it's, uh, it can be interesting. Yeah, my last two games, I don't think I killed hardly anything, and I won by, like, around 10 points. Mm, sorry. Between 7 and... 10, it's a lot. <laughs> so, Peyton, <laughs> uh, advise you to play polite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. <clears throat> uh-huh. He wants to leave still. He can take center and then jump in the middle. Push one time, N6, double up. Wait, N, N, N as in six. nerd. Right. <laughs> and then you can push again. Daniel likes killing too much. If you can't kill the opponent, he kills himself. He finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, I do that too. True. True. <laughs> to myself in tournaments. When I really want to kill something, I find a group. Well, you can push in center P10, then push again. Oh, okay, this one we block. <laughs> that finds a way. Uh, uh, Just R5. And then when he plays right, the move right. in the corner, I wonder if you can push again. And he goes Atari connect. Oh no, go down first. Just extend. And then push immediately to force his eye. Ah, he can die. I think he'll separate you. He feels like uh, he found a, a loophole. Okay, now push O6. And if he doesn't answer, you push again and cut one way or the other. Uh huh. And now hang on. Uh, also push P10. Because it's nice to capture these three stones. Sure. And right now, he's a little bit in trouble. You need to double up uh, N4 to make sure the... Ah, okay. This is nothing because you cut the stones on the right side. So do that. Separate P9. When he jumps in the corner, it doesn't really matter because you can also play o O9 <coughs> and Atari and so on. But let's see, if you push and block... Ah, you kill all. That's better, huh? Push, block, Atari, connect. Yeah, push through Q2 and he's dead completely <clears throat> and now r3 ugly but effective again right. connect and you have one two three four five six liberties he has only three with this q10 okay that's a pretty good move so let's see how we play here push and cut or some other things hmm yeah let's push and cut And hopefully don't die inside. But right. we'll find we'll find some magic to go out. Hane on the second line. You shouldn't trust my reading actually. But good luck. <laughs> and two. I think I slept like four or five hours last night. I was too hype after my tournament game. And I drank a couple of beers and I couldn't sleep anymore. Oh, he's dying all over the right side. But now you either clamp K2 or you cut and go out. Which one you like? I prefer the clamp. Let's see the clamp. This 5Q can play a few moves and now connect under. And when he tries to cover, it's uh, not really working. Push or jump? 
or push and jump. Yeah. Mm. Tap right, tap Gotta right is saying something. Uh, you can also push, and then you cut, and then you have a tie and a tie. Jump. Oh, you mean the push head? Yeah, yeah, J2, J2 and then cut. J2, I mean, yeah. Oh, and now. Wait a second, a tie, a tie, a tie, a tie. Connect under with the second line of Kosumi. He will probably die inside anyway. He played extremely proper before he died. Okay, we gotta block this. <clears throat> now wait, this is a critical moment of the game. Atari, Atari, Atari. You can go out. It's safe. Because then it's a Dametsumari he probably didn't notice. I mean, he goes on nine, you turn left, he comes out, and then you Atari from behind, and when he connects, okay, still do that. Atari 09. And that's some shortage of liberties. Cute kill, and we still didn't play uh, E8. That's the winning move. And now we're approaching 100 points. Mm -hmm. And what happened on IGS? How bad did they beat you? Mm, quite bad, actually. <laughs> Big kiss? Wow, he's in Atari. Show him. Boom. Yeah, a lot of it was not necessary. Well, I ended up dying <laughs> by... Yeah, well, um, <laughs> On some of the games. You live by the sword, you die by the sword. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um... But I just, I kind of felt like they, they just took more time to, to read things out. And you still play instantly, yeah? um, like the bots. <laughs> well, <laughs> sort of. Um, I noticed on IGS they leave a lot less weaknesses. Mm -hmm. um, well, it depends who you play against. But there yeah, are these yeah, players yeah. with like 17,000 games. And yeah, exactly. they have some experience. Yep. Like the, the game last night, <laughs> I played against someone who had like 7,000 games. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he just played solid everywhere, and then my attacks just failed. Yeah, you need to prepare those attacks a bit more. Let's try another one. Yep. This was interesting. Sure. Some good shapes. Uh, probably you should stop from time to time. In, in every game you have like two or three critical moments. So you play fast for a while, because you know that those just takes will go uh, as you like, and you probably play the things that you already uh, master, and then from time to time you, you have some some positions where you should take at least one minute to look at the position. And it happens two or three times in a game to have some important issues to solve, and that's when you have to calm down and fix the position. I mean, take some advantage. But if you keep playing fast and you die, well, it's a <laughs> small ball that becomes big. And it kills you. Yeah. Is it easy to find opponents uh, this time on Foxy? Uh, for the most mm -hmm. part. Uh, I'm having trouble finding people that want a free game. Right? One second. Oh, I see. Have you seen the link on uh, Go Without Borders? I just saw a YouTube post about it. I've heard about it, but I, I haven't watched it. Me neither. I just saw the link earlier when I was training the kids for the upcoming ski season. We will start skiing this uh -huh. Saturday. And tomorrow, tomorrow oh, I will awesome. be in, in the Ukraine to ski a couple of days with some friends. I need to warm up too. I forgot how that sport works. And I was missing snow. And now there's a lot of snow in the ski resort. Actually, last night it started to snow in the city too. And that's painful when you have to clean the car in the morning. Yeah, we have to see. Oh. Here we go. 
a new victim in mm. town. <laughs> Apparently, he accepted the free game. <clears throat> yeah, so that's, that's fine. Good. So, black again. Uh, you attack, right? One of the corners. Yeah, the upper left, good. usually. Oh, I should try more snowboarding too. Yeah. But maybe that will happen um, before Christmas time. I should find some time. And then I send you a, a new and different footage. I should upgrade my skill. Yeah, that's nice. The low uh, mini Chinese. I haven't seen this opening for a long time. Try try Q12. I want to see what he plays. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm like 25k snowboarding. And then you need to jump. Uh... Oh, hang on. Micro 17 to space jump. I was thinking to go P10, but probably dangerous. Okay. And then that's kind of classic. Uh, Q8. <clears throat> How come he knows? He gotta be a strong 5Q. And then let's. Yeah, I think he just started, no? Oh no, he played a couple of games. Then you can also play O11. Oh, let's see his games list. Oh, we, oh, no, no, that's all. Oh, sorry, okay. sorry. That was close. I misclicked. <laughs> oh, your opponent doesn't have any win, any loss. It's his first game. Okay. So. We might be stream sniped here. <laughs> uh, well, you're sent anyway. But it would be better to have O11 in place. Now, now you should do something about the uh, lower left. Either Sansa Invasion or C14 or maybe F17, as you like. Uh, let's go with this one. Good. More disruptive. He plays extremely patient. Now slide B16. Okay. Oh, I got some messages here. Just a moment. Sure. Okay, now you got a honey up or down. This guy is much better than 5k, I think. So you can go either B13 or D13. Just take the stone, probably. Yeah, capture it. Directly. Some ski buddies are sending me messages here. And then usually you go in the corner at C17, but you can also play Tanuki, and when he goes C17, you can wedge uh, D15 and keep center again. So right okay. now, I think it's interesting to jump F5, or to slide in the top, D2, and then extend H4. In fact, I like H5, because he, he got a lot of potential on the left. H5? Oh, sorry, not H5, uh, F, F5. Okay. One space jump. Did I mention H? Why H? H looks strange. Maybe I misheard. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but this guy is very good. Maybe we're playing a 7 down in these guys. Uh, ju just P6, okay. so no more misclicks from here. And we'll see. <laughs> He plays instantly and he plays the right moves. R3. Hane. A 5 q would miss something till this stage of the game and go down. R2. I think he's also a little bit uh, wondering how come a 5 q with the US flag plays so well. I don't see any mistakes for, okay, except O12, which it's obviously a misclick. Um, right, right. How to put pressure on this group. We leave it like that, we play some Kema. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should make a Chinese spy account <laughs> and then whisper you the right moves to beat me. <laughs> um, let's 
Let's try D7, shoulder hit. Okay. I thought so. And then one speed jump, F7. He will wedge right away. Or that one, also big. Mm -hmm. Bump, L3, we're playing a 9 down. <laughs> Are we? <laughs> no, but a much stronger 5Q than expected. Right, right. I don't think this guy will die. We will win by one and a half. He has to nobby up, okay. Now jump, L5. Now he jumps, N6, or attaches, O6. Or maybe he plays P5. Some of those moves. If he doesn't play anything, you immediately surround N6. So he'll probably play something here. O6, N6, or P5. See? So he plays like I would play. Uh, I don't think you can ignore this. But I don't want to finish Kote. Hane, he plays here, here. Yeah, Hane one time. O7. I think if you just P7, it will be Gote. And even so, it's a bit tricky. Okay. Now he wants to push and cut, but we don't care so much. Take the Sun Sun, C17. I wonder if he extends all the way to K17. Or maybe Atari C15. Or hanging connection E13. Mm -hmm. Or that one. That's big. Yep. The wedge. Well, this wedge, uh, you can Atari and then hanging connection. Yeah, e, E8. Also, you could just no B. But E8 is okay. <coughs> and then uh, G8. Yep. Well, there is Aji when he pushes and cuts. But what can we do? Or maybe it's a 5Q who's using some help from could the be, AI. Could be. Yeah, just block. Maybe it's dueling lessons. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got his side on his side. So what we do on the cut? Oh, okay, this peep, it's a bit questionable. Connect. His first questionable move. Now that one, ah, he wants you to make a B2 bomber shape. Hmm, connect again, fine. Okay. Super solid, super sonic too. So who's got more territory? We play 60 moves and white is leading. Hmm. Something fishy. <laughs> it's going on. You got it? Yeah, you got to extend around. Ah, oh, that's big. Let's see. Yeah, we don't need more moves there. But some, some extension around I-16. How about that? Okay. He'll jump right away. Boom. K-17. I don't know how to use the misclick. I, I'm still looking to find a way to, <laughs> to make it profitable. Wow. I mean, to try something around Q-11, but we'll see later. That's a good move. Uh, let's see which honey. Or no B. Start, start from N16, honey. Okay. Nice. Cut him. L16. Then push. Ah, oh, that was good. Wait a second. He says, wow, <laughs> ah, he knows something is fishy in this direction too. You can uh, K17 or push again, ah, tari, 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 connect, let me check. Yeah, yeah, let's push one more time, L15, let me tell you something.
Wow, you guys are good. Yeah, I'm 15 kill commenting, the 5 kills are too strong. <laughs> so, he, <laughs> he's like, wow, the 15 kill can tell. Yeah. You two together. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Go go down. No wonder why. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a good move actually. Play Atari L18. Let's ask who is helping him. Too many too many sides. <laughs> Who is helping you? <laughs> there are too many sides on uh, on this server. I think he has to O16, then you go out, and then it's a mess. Me alone. Uh huh. Super strong 5Q. No AI. Mm -hmm. Okay, with or without AI, we gotta crush him. But it's just <laughs> so many people are looking at yeah, the game now. <laughs> it's a very close game. <laughs> ah, you mean in the room? Yeah. I see King Kun yeah. IQ. Yeah, he knows some stuff, but he's not playing anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so go out, and then we can cut and connect under. You guys are really good. <laughs> oh, wait, can we play, uh, hang on, if Atari, Atari, Atari connects, uh, he will connect here, so if you cut, he will turn, Atari, he takes. Yeah, you gotta cut. O oh, seventeen, otherwise you lose the corner. <laughs> we are nine, nine down, sandbaggers. And now Atari under, and 19. Anyway, he, he managed something here. What's nice is that White is playing the move so quick, so it's obvious that he's at least five down in China. Not 5Q. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, all the moves I, I expected him to play, he played, so... O18. Okay. Yep. Hey, Langulo, what's up? This is the best 5Q we ever encountered. <laughs> very true, very true. Normally a 5Q on this server, I can probably play with 9 handicap. And in like 20, 30 moves, some corner will collapse. Just block. He will cut and then it's interesting. So if we give him that stone, let me see. Wow, white looks good. Pros would play each other on Arily. Atari, 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 connect. If you know me, he turns, you jump. You gotta resist. If we go Atari and push, then he takes that stone and it's too big. Right. So I should just extend L6. Uh, yeah, yeah, go out. Because then we surround the top. And it's hard to kill it, but still. Now he will extend to the left. J5. Oh, this one first. Uh, just go down. Q6. Mm -hmm. We are good for 15Q and 5Q, but he's also good. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sand, sandbagger uh, festival. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good move. We need to extend in the top. So, so I three or something. Wait, he will jump. That peep it's annoying. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, better go I4. And then we don't want to lose those L6 stones. But even if he's around the top group, he can leave. That's a pity. And no again. Wait. Oh, he's Chinese for Ah. Uh, that explains some moves. So now H4. And what does he what does he do at 5Q level? So push L7. <clears> How <throat> oh, that will be painful, he can hunt it. Ouch. We got an empty M7. Turn, then he pushes, then you turn again. <laughs> M7. For who? For us, it's the only move, yeah. Turn. Like that. We are a little bit in trouble. Wait a second, if you turn, he goes a parry. Then we are tied from behind. Then we block. Then he cuts. Ah, then we get to use the... Ah, it's for relaxing. You, you gotta turn. I haven't played go for a while. Oh. Just block. <clears throat> there is a little chance here, but still. Atari from the outside, 09. Mm -hmm. But then you gotta block Q7. And now we have a problem. Yep. He can play M10. Oh, cut him first. P8. The cut doesn't work here. Atari, Atari. Hang on. So if you push. He cuts, Atari, Atari, he takes, you turn, and if you wedge, full. Yeah, let's push O10 first. We are approaching the misclick, but he's still kind of at the top. <laughs> <laughs> now Atari wants, like that. So hang on a second. Uh, no, no, Stisuji uh, J7 or clamp. Actually, that's not the nose. The nose Stisuji, it's L10. <laughs> you two real strong. Yes, we are 20Q. <laughs> we can tell if that's true. Good grief. No, not yet. If we win, <laughs> if we <Okay>. lose, we <laughs> suck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he can still do that? Hmm, that's a problem. So if we cut, he goes Atari, Atari, then it's one, two, three, four, he pushes, we block, he pushes, we block. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> and if you play here, here, here. Oh, we have to go out somehow. Yeah, play some shape, play M10. Yeah, we need. I wanted to cut, but it doesn't work right away. <laughs> Funny, he's a chatty guy. Yeah, we need M10. That's a problem. <laughs> but actually, Atari, Atari. I'm looking a little bit in the top if we can try something with O2, but it doesn't work right away. Anyway, what we do against K11? Whoa, <laughs> he said six downs were not as strong as you. Well, <laughs> yeah, we are some fake six downs. <laughs> Dr drunken six downs. So let's see the score again. 
it's close. If we manage to escape with the group in the middle, and well, yeah, it's a big move for both colors. <laughs> if we win, we do. Uh, so let's see if we can do something here. Pump, 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 pump. Ah, you can play the attach and Atari and connect. And if you cut, the ladder is good. But it's so painful to go out. Oh wait, uh, L12, you gotta, you gotta escape. L12. Yeah, it just came on. Oh, we don't have too much time. 30 seconds, three times. I think we could play K10 and then attach an Atari. He takes a stone, we Atari from behind. We take the other stone. Oh, he can surround everything. Pull back. M12. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. And now another. Oh, wait. Before you play DMT. Oh, no, no. Actually, just go out. L13. Yes, we should tell him okay. that the five Qs are at a different level nowadays. Yeah, we could play that move. Now it's too late. <laughs> so, anyway, attach one time, play J9. J yeah, we, we had to play that J9 before turning. Ah, uh, my bad. <clears throat> but it's okay. Uh, and then we need to protect. Probably just L14. So it's not such a disaster. Go on Atari. I... I8. Okay. Then go Atari I10. <coughs> and connect on the 10 again. Because then we have the push and cut. J10. I knew he's not a 5Q when he played the Tsuki on the left side, C13. 5Qs never play that. Okay, he can live here. So wait, you jump, he plays this, this. Uh, one space jump, I12. Save the three stones. They are pretty big. I yeah, it Italy 12. Then he has to go back soon at L10, but maybe he doesn't want to. So he will push and so on. And the thing is, if we manage to surround the group somehow, oh, he can capture those guys. That's expensive. We yeah, we, we keep the stones, no problem. Atari. Push and cut doesn't work, huh? We die faster, so connect solid. M11. Mm -hmm. No more killing in the top, that sucks. But the miscreek is safe now. We save it. <laughs> good, <laughs> good. That was the important points. zone. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Yeah, just connect. Good. Uh huh. So he went back. Now we gotta save these guys, and he will play a couple of extra moves. Uh, jump G11. Make some shape. I think it's too painful to jump I13. Okay. He got a lot of profit in this fight. We just connected on neutral points. But it's not completely over. We can fight some more. Fortan China can play. For sure, for sure. Hmm. <laughs> Just block. It's a little bit afraid because when you surround the group, he needs to take uh, those two stones to create some ice. Uh huh. And we also need to connect somehow and then. But wait a second. Play a shoulder hit, G16. Also, I think we need to connect that stone uh, around D9. It still doesn't work to cut him D13. In fact, now it works. And then when he attacks, you attack from behind and push and cut two stones. Yeah, he saw the plan. Now play Kosumi uh, D9. What a surprise to find this 5 done or uh, 4 done playing as a 5Q. 
Aha, uh, block C8. It's strange you play that way. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Kosumi, B, B7. <laughs> And wait a second. And once a uh, clamp E14. I want to see how he reacts to this. If he cuts, I mean, block with Atari or just connect. If he just connects D15, you can one space jump E12. He will really be thin in the middle when he jumps I14. A little bit. But now with this move, we try to reinforce. Anyway, it's super close. Uh -huh. Now one space jump, E12. If he doesn't answer, then you cut and he's a little bit in trouble. So he'll probably wedge. And then we make some nice shape here. Atari once. <clears throat> now wait a second. This is a call. Um, either B B nine or E two and connect. E two is very big. Yeah, because it's okay in the top. Okay. He will block E three and then we just connect. No Atari. So you can play honey the corner or clamp or something else. Okay. And now he will try Atari and connect under, but that's still a call. So we we'll see. You're still vulnerable in the middle. I think we need another move around F15 or some some block, G17. We'll see. Yeah, G17 is actually big. Okay. Oh, That's really it. close game, he said. True story. <clears throat> hmm. This is still kind of thin. Play the honey. Oh, no, wait. Uh, play I-17. Because, I mean, just drop down. Yeah. Oh, that came out was painful. Mm-hmm. Now I was looking at that. Now we have a call here. Leave it like this for now. Just honey in the corner, D1. I want to see how he answers. Oh, D1, okay. I wonder if he blocks or he no be. He might just no be. Okay, leave it like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, push. Can't hear you. No, we lost him. I I don't know what to do. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna lose the game. <laughs> Skype died. No. Use the force. <laughs> and 5Q end game starts now. Yeah, I can't hear you on Skype. Oh, no. Hello. Uh, 
I think hey. you need to play h14 here. Skype just collapsed somehow. Or you can you can push g17, but then he cuts. It's too much to to read in 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, I should be on KGS shortly. Just a moment. Let, let me tell my other student to wait because we have an interesting <laughs> game going on. Skype just collapsed. <clears throat> Here you gotta block S17. It's big to play on the bottom of G17 and then cut that stone, F15. We still have the core on the left side, we'll see what happens. It can leave here. Tuck, 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 tuck. Danger, danger. Ah, oh, that's big. Okay, so push down, G17. Oh, you never played okay. Satari E4. And then no, if he goes it. down, you cut the stone. F15. Or wait, we need to take back the core. That would be big. Hang on. And if he cuts, you play Atari, then he pushes. Yeah, yeah, take back the core. D7. And maybe just connect. But depends. Now he will pull back S15. Ah, okay. Play one Atari here. G14. Okay. Then connect the core, uh, D8. His cut is big now. Okay. <clears throat> Push once, uh, G18. Also go Atari E4 right away. Okay. Then capture the stone at S15 and take it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what was what was uh, the next one? S15, S15, yeah. Because then you push under, take it. <laughs> Take it. <clears throat> we give or take a lesson, we don't know yet. It's also big for you to play in the top uh, Q2. I think it cut off my URL for some reason. What? You can't hear me anymore? No, I can hear you. Oh, this is big. Push once. I18. <laughs> Poor guy won't find another fulfilling game if I <laughs> and, uh, no, no, he does no, this G17. just to kick people's butt. He says he does it to relax, so that means it's it's fun for him just to kick yeah, some five cubes. It's, it's a chill game. Yeah. Super close says white plus four. Ah, uh, this was big. So if you connect, you will take, then you're fine. Just connect. Let me see if you can attack and cover and cut actually, but it doesn't work. Oh wait, Atari, then you cut, then you have this, this. No, no, don't connect. Play, play F11. More interesting. Then, sure. then E E10, because he's not alive with the big dragon. Yeah. If he, ah, yeah. he saw that. Uh, okay, if he pushes an Atari and this. Now you should one space jump B B11. <coughs> In fact, it's big, it's big okay. for you to play Q2. And then Kosumi R 
R9 and connect. All right. I don't know, all the moves are big. Ah, this is not even center. Atari and connect is. Ah, and in the top, C1 and connect is big. And D18 is big for him. He took the stone so proper. Uh, connect under. C1 it's not necessarily center, but it's big. Oh, he can cut first. Hang on. <clears throat> if you connect, he can push, and then we have a problem. Uh huh. He's right. And Atari. Ah, play Atari first. Play B B10. Then we can connect. Connect E11 because. Uh, if he tries to cut in the middle, we push and capture. Okay. And then you need to jump. Uh, he pushes your block. Or play here, you have Atari. Yeah, just jump J14. <clears throat> His endgame was good. White has comb your head, but J14 is bigger. Okay. <laughs> So all these chats are streamed. Uh, block. Atari connect. Oh, this is tricky. Wait. Okay, connect. In fact, you're fine. They can't see the chat. We don't know yet. On stream. Ah, that chat. <laughs> you, you really need to play H17 in center. Because otherwise it's super dangerous. Block. Yep. Then K in the top. Q1. Okay. Ah, just block these two. Wait a second, he can push. You got a block, he can cut. Ah, that's painful. So, Kosumi I2. Oh, okay. We got crushed by a Chinese Fordan. That was big. So now, <laughs> play one Atari, age 17. Yeah, it's no big deal. And now Kosumi D19. Because if he doesn't answer, you start to call it F19. Oh, okay. So you save that guy. Otherwise, he could go D18. Mm -hmm. And then we should play in the top left. D1 and connect in center. But we lose a big. Without the fight, without the kill. Connect. He said, actually, it's okay if they see. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Fun to run into this guy at 5 kill. We deserve this. <laughs> Con yeah, kind of. <laughs> Crush too many people, too many uh, untrained 5 kills. This is a highly trained one. Best 5 kill on Fox. So he doesn't connect the top left. Probably he plays on the right side, monkey jump. S7. Oh, that's center. He heard me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We should resign this. Because anyway, if you finish it, uh, it's like a lot for white. Okay, just resign yeah. then? Because I gotta go. So, right. fun game. We have to, to load this one next time and study it a little bit. If you have the mood. But... We better play new. Games. Oh yeah. Anyway, remember this guy. Tab zero nine three one. We got a rematch. Yep. <laughs> no time now. Maybe next week. Tell him to be around next Wednesday. <laughs> All right. Good lesson we got. So. Yep. For sure. Have a good stream, and I gotta run. See ya next Wednesday. Yep. Ciao ciao. Yep. Thanks for the Thank lesson. Thank you too. Bye bye. All right and.
as I like to remind everyone, be sure to support Cornell on his channel at twitch.tv slash CornellGo. Um, and if you are interested in lessons from him, you can contact him through Twitch or IGS and KGS as Cornell. His lessons are pretty reasonable. I found them incredibly valuable. I've learned so much. If I studied a little harder, I would probably learn a little faster. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, um, it's great. It, these experiences are super cool for me because I get to I get to learn uh, timing. I get to learn um, options and opportunities. Of course, I learn a little bit about Joseki, um and all that stuff. But yeah, if you would like, oh, special thanks to Nightmare Twenty Seven Twenty Seven uh, Peyton Bigsby uh, for donating and making sure that these lessons could go on in the future. If you would like to support this content for it to keep going on. Um, your donations, your subscriptions, your bits, all that stuff helps. You don't have to. I'm just happy that you guys are here um, hanging out with me and learning with me. But every little bit helps, and I do pay Cornell for his time. So, um, yeah, if you are inclined to donate, it is much appreciated. And, again, a big shout-out to Nightmare2727 and, and to Peyton Bixby for both support.